praise the name of the Lord Jesus. It's a great day that the Lord has made that we may rejoice and be glad in it. I'm delighted. I'm glad to bring the word of God to us. Welcome to Armor Radio. It's a place of a great uh, transformation and, and a place of great healing. And get ready for the word in Jesus' name. It's a new season. It's a new moment that God is doing a great and mighty things. I want you to be part of this because you cannot afford to be left out. Hallelujah. This is Apostle Robinson and I'm ready to bring this word to you. I know that God will speak to you. Uh, topic of today, I believe that it will change your life. Now, I want us to share on a chosen for his purpose. How many people know that God has chosen you for his purpose? That is the message I want to share on today in Jesus' name. Now, every disciple of Jesus Christ, you know, I want somebody to know that if you're born again, you are a disciple of Jesus Christ. And so you've been, uh, you've been, uh, you know, you've been chosen. You are a product of God's grace in your life. Every disciple is a product of God's grace. How do you feel if, for example, in this case, somebody come, uh, comes up to you and say you have been chosen? You know, the word to be chosen is very special because, you know, when you're, you're chosen to, uh, in this case, to represent, uh, to represent the school, for example, to represent the nation, to represent a company, to represent an organization, to represent, you, you know, the, the, that kingdom. Uh, you know, it is a great privilege because the, 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 there is honor that comes upon you and uh, that honor is so, it is so significant that you cannot live, you know, just you know, a careless life. Now, people that have been chosen, that they live in honor, glory to God. We feel very, when you're, hon when, when you're chosen, you feel very good and it's an honor to be a chosen person. I want somebody to know that as I share this word that you've been chosen for purpose, that it is a great honor for you to be chosen, you know, in this generation. Glory to God. Now, uh, the Bible says in John chapter number 15, verse number, I uh, believe, verse number 15 and 16, the Bible says, I no longer call you. Jesus begins to say these things, powerful things. He says, I no longer call you servants. Because a servant does not know his master's voice, his, his master's business. Glory to God. A servant does not know. It is very true in the practical. A servant does not know his master's uh, business. Glory to God. And, and, and you know, it does, not, does not know his master's business. Uh, you know, instead, I have called you friends for everything that I have learned from my father. I have made them known to you. Glory to God. Uh, verse number 16, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruits, fruits that will last and so that whatever you ask in my name, in my name, the father will give you glory to the king of kings. Now, I want to drop this revelation to your spirit that you've been chosen for a purpose and uh, before you've been chosen you know for some reason jesus is explaining these words and he says uh, I, you know i no longer call you i no longer call you servants i call you friends why because a servant a servant does not know the master's business instead i have called you friends today i wanted to know that there is a difference between a servanthood and friendship if you become my friend, I will give you the secrets. If you, I will, I will, I will I'll bring you closest. I will, uh, I will bring you. I know. I'll give you some, uh, some, some secrets. I will give you. You'll be in within my circle. Glory to God. You'll be within my circle. But if you are not my friend, you are somebody I know from a distance. I will treat you as a distant person. Meaning, I will treat you as a servant. Glory to God. And so Jesus begins to give this example and he says that a servant does not know his master's business. It is very true that a servant doesn't know the master's business. Hallelujah. If you are just at the level of, you know, at the level of I'm a, I'm a servant of God, you remain there for the rest of your life. When will you start qualifying from being a servant to a friend?
servant of God. Because even the Bible says, and Abraham was, well, it was counted unto him as a friend of God. Glory to God. Why do we have so many uh, people frustrated in the families and, and uh, they're not in, in one accord? Why? Because there is no level of, 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 of friendship. Husband and wife, they're not friends. They're married, but not, they're not friends. Glory to God. Uh, fiancé and the other one, they're they are, they are, they are friends, yes, but they don't have the deeper love and, and the meaning of what friendship is all about. Why is it that people are not really checking on the qualities of friendship? Jesus wants us to check on the qualities of friendship so that we know that he has chosen us. Friendship is by choice. When you talk glory to God, friendship is by choice. So he says, I have now called you. I have not. I have now called you friends. Now listen. He he says, uh, verse number sixteen. You did not choose me. In other words, you know, ladies and gentlemen, Jesus is very clear. He says, you did not choose me, but I chose you. Glory to God. I chose you. You did not choose me, but I chose you. I want somebody to know that you've been chosen by God, but I chose you and appointed you. He did not just choose you, but he chose you, but and he appointed you so that, why were you appointed? You were appointed so that you might go and bear fruit. This appointment and this 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 call of appointment it's not just a call it is not just being chosen it is chosen to bear fruit it is chosen you've been chosen so that you may bear fruits the question i want to pose on you and my fellow listener how are you are you bearing fruits in your nation are you bearing fruit in your generation? Are you bearing fruit in your family? You have been chosen from that family so that you may bear fruit. You've been chosen from that nation so that you may bring a transformation. Are you bearing fruits, my brother and my sister? The Bible says, so that you may you may you might go and bear fruit. And not just fruits, but fruits that will last that will last for long. Now listen to me. God wants to release a sustainable blessings. And because of that, he wants you to have that a sustainable a long-lasting, long-lasting fruits, long-lasting fruits that will not just like you have these fruits today and tomorrow it's gone. Praise the name of the Lord. And so that whatever you ask, when you have these long-lasting fruits, when you have the lasting fruits, glory to God, whatever you ask in his name, the Father will give it to you. This is a promise that we have been given by God. That any time we call upon him, any time we be fruitful, any time we, we know that he chose us to be fruitful, to he chose us to be productive, you know, even in this month of September, God is has chosen us to be productive so that whatever that has been within us to be born out and so that we may be, we may bear fruits in our lives and not just for season but you know with 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 an everlasting with a long lasting season in Jesus name we have been chosen for a purpose if you see yourself that that way everything changes you know around you now there are people who don't understand the word being chosen I want you to know that you've been chosen for a purpose. And for this reason, you know, we've been chosen for a purpose for this. If if you see, if you see yourself, you know, as a chosen for a purpose, glory to God. If you see yourself as a chosen for purpose, you'll begin to see changes in your life. This month of September, it is my prayer to you that you'll begin to see the changes in your life because you have been chosen for a purpose in your life. Glory to the King of Kings. You've been chosen for a purpose. Now, we 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 cannot find purpose by looking at uh, yourself you cannot find purpose no one can find purpose by looking down at herself or himself or you know you you, you compare yourself to the world listen to me you cannot look down at yourself and then you 
you you you think by your own capacity that you you know you will be able to identify the purposes of God in your life. Who who, who am I talking to right now? The point is you you know have you ever had uh, a feeling sometimes that you feel that be, yes you're doing whatever you're doing but you feel that you're disqualified. Listen to me. God does not call the qualified people but he calls and qualified to qualify them. Glory to God. God calls the quali unqualified people to qualify them. Are you in that situation? You're feeling that you know you're just like a nobody, and you don't know any you don't know anything in this world. Listen to me. God wants to because He has chosen you. He wants to you know to qualify you. You've been chosen so that He may qualify you. Glory to God. He does not qualify the qualified. He qualifies the one that He has called. Glory to God. He calls the unqualified to qualify them in Jesus' mighty name. We are all chosen by, by God, by God's grace. The things we are we you know we are called to do are different, but we receive all we receive the grace, but we have received all the grace from the Lord. The call is different. Maybe you've been called to be a Sunday school teacher. Your call and my call is different. Maybe you've been called in the in the present worship team. That is your call and my call is different. Maybe you've been called to in a to be in a place of you know prayer, a place of intercession. Your call is different from my call. But listen to me, we are we 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 we've been all been chosen for purpose. Everybody has their own. It might be different, but it is the same. You know the process of being chosen. God does not change his mind in Jesus' name. Now listen, when God chooses you, he also equips you. Hallelujah. I want somebody to know that even in this season, because God has chosen you, he's going to equip you. When God chooses you, he also equips you. Not just equipping you, he also matures you. Not just matures you, he also encourages you. These three things, please, my brother, my sister, don't forget that they will begin to happen to you when, when you begin to see the manifestation of God in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, God equips you, God will encourage you, and God will mature you up so that you walk in the grace knowing that you are now maturing in the word of God in Jesus' name. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter number 1, verse number number 4, but A, for the for he chose us in his in him before the creation of the world. He chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. Glory to God. To be holy and blameless in his sight. Hallelujah. He chose us in you in him you are chosen in him you are not chosen in your bank account you are not chosen in other things around you you are chosen in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight from the foundation of god's great god's creation Jer you know he knew you jeremiah was told that some things that i have known you i knew you before you were born in your mother's womb he knew you he set you apart and he appointed you god knows you god sets you apart and god has appointed you even in this season the appointment letter is coming your way if you've not received it in the name of the lord god is re releasing that appointment letter to you in jesus my name god knows us better than we know ourselves because he made us god knows us much better than we know ourselves because he made us we were made by him glory to god he, we were made by him hallelujah we've been chosen to, to 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 be god's ambassadors to represent his kingdom in, in everywhere that we go we've been chosen to be god's ambassador i want you to know that you're an ambassador of god in that nation you, i want you to know that you're an ambassador of god in that family i want you to know that you're an ambassador of god in, in your generation today you've been chosen in school you've been chosen in the village you've been cho chosen in towns you've been chosen in the churches to be an ambassador in the nations to be an ambassador for for god 
Hallelujah. We've been chosen to be like him. Don't just be like any other person. You need to represent Jesus in your life. Be chosen like him. Hallelujah. Don't just come with another hybrid. Don't just come with another breed. You have been chosen by him. And that means you have the DNA of God in you. Glory to God. We've been chosen to be to be you know to be formed in the family to be in the family of god we we have a family and this family is a family of god in the name of jesus we've been predestined hallelujah and adopted as sons through jesus christ according to his pleasure and will this is a great word of god so as i come out of this place i want you to know that god has chosen you for a purpose bless you and until we meet again shalom